Welcome back to the Trump News Network, the only network where you can't turn down the volume no matter how hard you try. <laughs> Let's get to tonight's top story. My former aide, Omarosa's new tell-all memoir came out today, and you shouldn't believe a single word of it. It's fake, it's phony, and worst of all, it's a book. <laughs> Can you believe it? Omarosa calls me a racist and a misogynist, but that is ridiculous. I am not a racist. My cabin is full of African-Americans. There's Ben Carson. Anyway... <laughs> Kellyanne Conway already addressed this issue perfectly. Roll the clip. Omarosa was the most prominent, high-level African-American serving in the West Wing on President Trump's staff. Who now is that person? African-American? Yes. Uh, you, we have Jerron, who's done a fabulous job and very involved. Yeah, we have Jerron. Everyone knows who Jerron is. He's so involved, I even know his full name. It's Jerron James. <laughs> That's right, Jerron James. I know it sounds like LeBron James, but Jerron is way better, and he's going to fit in great with our newest hire, Jarmelo Anthony. Look, folks, what I'm saying is that wacky Amorosa is a total liar. I mean, in her book, she says she once walked in on me eating paper. I had never eaten paper. Unless you count when the receipt was stuck to my Big Mac. <laughs> she also says I have a tanning bed in the White House. Of course I do. What am I supposed to sleep on, a tanning futon? <laughs> I'm the president. And now Amorosa says she has secret recordings of me, but you can play at that game because I've been secretly recording things, too. I even taped a recent meeting I had with Vladimir Putin. I hid my phone right under the table. Listen to this. <laughs> that was Putin. That was Putin. <laughs> that what was me. That's a DT original right there. All right, these are mostly me. All right, look, anyway, maybe I should have put the phone above the table. What can I say? It's very hard to digest paper. <laughs> space Force! Everyone loves the Space Force. Everyone's talking about it because they love it. And it'll be up and running by 2020. It's taking longer than expected, but that's totally normal. Plenty of presidents my age have trouble getting their rockets up. In entertainment news, Crazy Rich Asians hits theaters this week, and it is getting fantastic reviews. Fantastic. I'm very excited about this movie. In fact, I went ahead and made a sequel with my family, Rich Crazy Caucasians. In collusion, I mean, in conclusion, my star might be removed from the Hollywood Walk of Fame. You'd think I'd be sad, but I'm actually glad because it involves the two things I hate more than anything, Hollywood and walking. <laughs> oh, it looks like some more breaking news is coming in. This is the Trump News Network. We'll be right back. And on and on.